Hi everyone, my name is Sangeeta, and you are joining me for my very first podcast. I just want to take some time to wish everyone a very, very happy New Year. So now that the New Year of 2019, which sounds so cool, by the way, 2019. We are all being bombarded with New Year resolutions and being bombarded with the question of what is your New Year's resolution? I've chosen to take on a new approach and that is that I decided I don't want to really have a New Year's resolution but rather I want to have ongoing goals. I want to continue the goals that I had from last year. So let me tell you a little bit about my last year. In the last year, I took some time, a lot of time, to focus back on me and myself and my self journey, self discovery, spirituality, getting more into that, learning more about myself, learning more about the things that I really love to do, the things that I enjoy, the things that I want to do. And I realized that in the midst of me, you know, whether it's, you know, going to work or getting into that routine or whatnot, I found that self-care was becoming even, even more important, obviously. When you take time to care for yourself, you can then be better for everyone else around you and a big part of self-care isn't just the physical as in pampering yourself and you know having a spa day or you know um, exfoliating your skin or moisturizing or using a face mask or what have you a large part of that which is often taken for granted is taking care of our mindset, our mind, our very much your mental health. And what I mean by that is really just nourishing our minds with healthy, healthy things such as nourishing it with knowledge, nourishing it with the spirituality, nourishing it with positive thoughts and nourishing it with kindness and love and as cheesy as it sounds learning to be your own best friend and I really actually want to help you to take this time because I know that you must be feeling quite overwhelmed with the new year upon us to succeed at everything that you set out to do in the new year. Oh my goodness, it's 2019. New year is upon us, we're only, let me remind you, into day nine. It's January the 9th, we're only into day nine. So I want to encourage you to take a breath for yourself. Take a deep breath, take a few, and just remind yourself that you don't have to achieve everything that you set out to do right now. What's really, really key is to focus on the smaller steps and the baby steps. Your dreams, your goals are still there. They will still be there. They are a part of you. They're not going anywhere. But wouldn't you rather get to your dream? When you get to your dream and you achieve your dream, Wouldn't you rather that you get there in a happy, healthy way as opposed to stressed out in, you know, in a state? (laughs) So I want to challenge you today to do an exercise that you're going to laugh when I tell you what it is. You're going to feel silly, but it's going to be something that you are going to be so thankful that you tried. And it sounds very simple, but you're not going to get away that easy without doing it properly. 
And let me tell you, if there's not tears in this exercise, if you don't need a box of tissues, you're doing it wrong. I want you in the morning or any time that you can to look at yourself in the mirror. And I mean, really look at yourself. Make a vow to yourself that this year, from this day forward, I'm no longer going to reserve any mean words for myself. You're only going to use kind words for yourself. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you're going to focus on the positive. And I know that's not an easy thing to do for, you know, a lot of people. It's a very personal thing. But instead of focusing on the flaws that you think you have, you know, whether your ears stick out or you don't like your nose or your lips or whatever it is, I want you to choose to say three to four different things that you love about yourself. You know, it could be that you love your hair or you notice that you have lovely eyes or you have soft skin, you know, looking at your face and you notice how soft it looks something positive and then and this is where the box of tissues will come in and you're gonna laugh but bear with me I want you to tell yourself I love you and I want you to repeat that until you really really mean it with every fiber of bone in your body I want you to really say it again and again until you really believe it this is an exercise that I tell a lot of my health coaching clients to do and at first there's some giggles they feel silly but then by the time they've gotten to say it a few times over and over there are tears and then there's happy tears (laughs) And it's one of the most beautiful things you can do. So I highly encourage you to start your day with positive affirmations and to start your day by taking that time for yourself. So I want to start off with a inspirational quote that I find really quite motivating. You are never too old to set another goal or dream a new dream. A year from now, you're gonna weigh more or less than what you do right now. Hope smiles from the threshold of the year to come, whispering, it will be better. It will be happier. Stay committed to your decisions, but stay flexible in your approach. And I will try and have some more inspirational quotes for you, but I really like that quote because it is so true, isn't it? That it really isn't ever too late to start a new dream, a new goal. Often we tell ourselves that, oh no, I'm, I'm too, I'm, I'm past it now. I, you know, I, I couldn't possibly, I couldn't possibly pursue that dream that I had when I was a kid. Um because I'm, I'm too old to do that now. And that's absolutely not true. Um, I don't know if many of you watch America's Got Talent, but Susan Boyle made her, you can say, a comeback. Um, it was about two days ago now. And she, I mean, you know, she went on that show when she was much older than what a lot of people would have the guts to, to go on a stage and um, she was the second runner-up, which I think is an amazing accomplishment. She is definitely a legend in her own right. And now her new goal, she really, really, really wants to win America's Got Talent. And you know what? Some are saying that, well, she's already made it and, you know, she doesn't really need to do that. But I say, you know what, if that's what feels right for her, I say awesome. But that's not the point. What I'm trying to say is that I think it's wonderful for her to continue to pursue her dreams. 
And if you look all over throughout history and historic figures, there are plenty of what I like to call, and I'm fascinated about, famous failures. So someone that I'm very deeply inspired by is JK Rowling. Of course, we don't need any introduction for JK. <laughs> um, her Harry Potter books, they are so successful. I remember picking up my very first Harry Potter book. I must have been about 11, but I didn't actually start reading it until a year or two later. And um, I couldn't put the book away obviously and it, now it's become this huge empire but it's become an amazing iconic it's a classic it is an empire in its own right now I have been watching a lot of biographies of successful people and their story and I was watching JK's story and I mean, she was, her book, her manuscript was rejected quite a few times before she finally got the go-ahead for Harry Potter because she believed in it. She believed in it and she persevered. She didn't give up. She struggled. There are plenty of other famous failures out there that, you know, they have, um, gone on to achieve their dream whether young or old it doesn't matter but I just want you to think about that for a minute and I also want to let you know about something new and exciting that I've started but why don't we take a break and I will see you on the other side Welcome back everyone, that was a nice and very short break. I wanted to tell you all about something, an initiative that I've begun and it's actually two different initiatives that I've started. The first one is my 365 Reasons to Wake Up Everyday Movement and I want to tell you about this very, very special, special venture. Um, it is very, very close to my heart. It's very important. And what it is, if you go to my Instagram at Singita Melody, you will see that every now and again, I will post this, you know, 365 reasons to wake up every day um, with that hashtag. And it is basically illustrating or, or showcasing something that I look forward to waking up, that gets me out of bed in the morning. It's extremely important to me, and I think if it can be special to me, that it can definitely grow and become special to other people. And I've already had people responding really, really well to this initiative. And the purpose behind it is to inspire others, to remind people that no matter what you're going through in your life, there's always something positive to look forward to in the day. There's always a reason to wake up in the morning. There's always a reason to get dressed and out of bed to, to smile about, whether it's as simple as, you know, you looking forward to having some yummy breakfast. That definitely gets me up in the morning. Or listening to your favorite song spending time with your family and your friends, going for a walk, little things that ultimately, these simple things mean so much because collectively they make us feel whole and good and positive and remind us that life is always worth pursuing and carrying on for. And so I hope that with this initiative, with my reasons to wake up every day movement that it will inspire others, it will make them feel good, it makes me feel good, it's something that I very much believe in and I also hope that you guys will join me and go on your social media, you will use the hashtag reasons to wake up every day and post something, just one thing 
that you look forward to doing in the day? What do you look forward to getting up for tomorrow? Are you maybe, um, you know, pursuing a dream that means a lot to you? Are you, you know, maybe just something as simple as your favorite food or maybe you love to write? Whatever it is, I want you to tell me and I want you to share it with me. Make a post on Instagram, you can do it on Facebook or Twitter. You can tag me back at Singita Melody, that's S-A-N-G-E-E-T-A, M-E-L-O and D, Singita Melody, you can find me there on Instagram. Um, I would of course appreciate a follow back. <laughs> and you can also tag me on Facebook at Singita Music. Or you can tag me on my Twitter, which is Sangeeta Central. Whatever platform you choose, it doesn't matter. I think Instagram probably is the way to go, but it doesn't matter. Whatever you're comfortable with. I really, really hope that this movement grows because if it can help just one person, I'm so happy. If it can make a difference in someone's life, I'm beyond happy. So pass it on, share it with your friends. We also do have a website. I think this can be a really special um, thing if enough people know about it. So it's 365reasonstowakeup.com and you guys can learn a little bit more about it. I also have a mailing list and a free article that you can get which I have written about five ways to appreciate every day. You can sign up and you can receive the article that way. Stay tuned to this podcast because after the short break, I want to share something else with you. Welcome back, everyone. You are listening to my podcast. My name is Sangeeta and this is my very first podcast. So welcome to episode one. (laughs) So I would love to hear from you if you guys have messages or suggestions or any topics that you want to discuss. um, I would, I do very, very warmly welcome them. I would love to hear from you. And a little bit more about me, you can visit my website at singita.ca and you can find out about all my different initiatives and different passions that I love to do. I am a certified holistic health coach. I'm also a performing artist. I have taken a break from performing for a little bit, which I will be getting back into soon. But it's been a a much welcome break, to be honest, just to take that pressure off, you know, the performing side of things and to get back into me and who I am as a person and the essence of me. And... I've definitely been doing a lot of songwriting and I will play a snippet of uh, one of my songs for you coming up. I really want to tell you about something new that I also started. So I just was talking before the break about my 365 reasons to wake up every day movement. But I also want to tell you about my blog. So I started this blog called Array of San, which you can go to for again similar to this podcast it's all about inspiration laughter conversation feeling good positivity because we all need a little ray of sunshine or you know as I like to cheesily say sunshine but okay (laughs) I'll stop there but I encourage you please check out my blog it's rayofsan.wordpress.com and it's san with s-a-n array of san dot wordpress dot com and i want to tell you a little bit about the holiday season about the last month or so so i was blessed enough so so lucky to get to meet one of my idols that i've looked up to since i was a little girl her name is debbie travis (laughs) so this one day my mum comes home with this book called Design Your Next Chapter and for those of you who are Debbie Travis fans like myself you will know that that is her new book she has quite a few books out now it's an amazing book it's an amazing read I highly recommend it Um, 
I'm not getting paid to say this, I promise you. I am honestly telling you about this because it has really inspired me. And whether you're young or older, doesn't matter. But this book, it features stories of amazing women. And these are everyday women, like you and me, who have found their next dream in life. They've had the courage to, you know, achieve it. Um, And, you know, with Debbie's um, encouragement as well, definitely. But it also very much touches upon you know, her own story and her own journey as she, you know, ventured off to um, to Italy to start her retreat, which you can buy the book and learn more about that. So my mum literally comes home with this book and I already got into about 200 pages on that day. I, I kid you not, I was so engrossed in that book and I love it. And I kid you not, literally the next day we found out that she was headed into my city of Calgary (laughs) to come and do a book signing and a book talk at Chapters and I was, oh my goodness, of course me and my parents went, we couldn't, like me and mum were so excited. I sat in the front, I was an eager beaver and I asked her a question and she was so encouraging and inspiring and just so lovely, so down to earth, even more beautiful in person. She's got such a beautiful personality as well to match. An amazing woman, like a really beautiful soul and I, you know, told her about my hopes and my dreams and that I really want to be my own boss and, you know, um... That is what I really want and see for myself. And I, you know, I told her a little bit about that. And I asked her, I told her what she means to me as in she is one of my role models. And and I, you know, asked her who is her role model. And she was very, very helpful in her answer back and gave me a beautiful answer, which I will keep for myself. <laughs> But we, you know, had a little bit of a a chat afterwards and she signed my book for me and my mum and it was a beautiful day. It was very special. So I'm so thankful for that. And the reason I'm telling you about this is because it was such a serendipitous moment because who knew that, I mean, my mum only literally bought the book that day before and then I find out that she's coming to my city the next day. Like, it was meant to be. It was meant to be, definitely. Um, So she's always someone that I look up to. And, you know, always will. So I'm just so thankful that I got to meet her. And in her book, she talks about this movie that really, really inspired her. And it's called Under the Tuscan Sun featuring the beautiful and stunning Diane Lane, who I think is just so mesmerizing in this film. And I'm literally looking at the poster for this film right now. It's on my blog. And it has a quote, which I love. It's so simple, but means so much. It says, life offers you a thousand chances. All you have to do is take one. Let me read that again for you. Life offers you a thousand chances. All you have to do is take one. So, I mean, a prime example of that is if I hadn't, if my mum hadn't picked up that book for me, if I hadn't chosen to read it, if I hadn't chosen to, you know, um, do a little research with my mum, we wouldn't have ever found out that Debbie is going to be doing a book signing in my city or, you know, think back to any moment in the last year something as simple as oh it could be anything um if you hadn't said yes to to something you wouldn't have experienced that next moment whatever it was it could be that maybe you ended up meeting your spouse last year or um you ended up saying yes to to an opportunity and so 
yeah, life is full of a thousand different chances, but it all starts with one. I want to read you a little passage, um, a short article that I wrote on my blog. Again, you can find it at arrayofsand.wordpress.com. I started this blog because it's really so therapeutic for me to write. I am a writer. I love writing. I've been doing that since I was a kid. It's another outlet for me next to my music and other creative ventures. But I want to read this to you. And, you know, like I said, this blog is a journey of discovery, of inspiration, of starting conversations and really to saying yes to pursuing my dreams wholeheartedly. The article is called You Can Find Your Way Again and if it's okay with you, (laughs) I would like to read it for you. So just a little bit of background information, I actually ended up watching that film with my mum under the Tuscan sun. I highly recommend it. It's such a beautiful film, it's romantic and it isn't just about love, you know, with another person. It's very much to do with your own self-discovery and love for yourself. And I don't want to spoil the film for you, so, but she definitely, the main character, Francesca, or Frances, she, played by Diane Lane, she wants to change her life, she moves to Italy, and she chooses to renovate this old Um, villa in Italy and that's kind of the setting of the film and it's beautifully done so get some popcorn sit down with your (laughs) mum watch this film with your girlfriends you know it's not just for for girls it's not just a chick flick it's a beautiful film for anyone and it will definitely definitely leave you inspired I'm going to read this to you, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it leaves you with some inspiration. You can find your way again. The truth is, it's normal to feel lost. We've all been there. Whether work is dragging you down, or you lack direction or motivation. But I want you to know that in the depths of your despair, and amongst the maze that you may find yourself in, Feeling lost is in fact a big blessing, and there is always light at the end of the tunnel. It may feel like you're building your dream, only to be let down or things not go your way quite as you planned. However, trust that if you have a dream, it's come to you for a reason. I was watching Under the Tuscan Sun with my mother, just yesterday, and wow, what a beautiful movie. The main character, Francesca, discovers just how strong she is, both physically, mentally and emotionally. I won't ruin the rest of the film for you, but there was a beautiful part in the film that I loved. Frances Mays, affectionately called Francesca by the local Tuscans in Italy, had gone ahead and made one of the biggest decisions of her life, only to feel pathetic as it wasn't shaping up the way she thought it would, and to her fear, that maybe she was too hasty in her decision. She felt empty and lonely, but then with reassurance, one of the kind gentlemen in the film, who had become a good friend to Francesca, reminds her of how a train track was built long before a train was even set up to travel across the Alps between Vienna and Venice. However, they built it anyway, because they knew in their hearts that the train will surely come. So next time you're setting up a dream, a hope, you feel lonely or lost, remember this, trust in your heart of hearts that your dream will bear fruit. I am going to leave you with that for today, but that is a little snippet from my article. In fact, that is the whole article. (laughs) Um, So definitely go on my blog, arrayofsand.wordpress.com. Soon enough, it will be (laughs) arrayofsand.com. But with that being said, for those of you who know me, I am a singer, I'm an artist, 
and I've been venturing off and doing my own songwriting. I got to work with a very talented producer um, called DJ Aslam on a song called Ride High. I wrote the song literally in a few minutes one evening and the beat was so, you know, moving in that it really inspired me to write and it's called Ride High and it really is about feeling that adrenaline rush with your significant other and never wanting that feeling to end. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for listening to my very first podcast. It means a lot to me. Again, you guys can find me on Instagram at Singita Melody. You can find me at Singita Music on Facebook, Singita Central on Twitter. And uh, let me know what is the thing that you look forward to every day. What is the thing that gets you up in the morning? Use the hashtag reasons to wake up every day. Tag me back at Singita Melody on Instagram or, you know, your social media platforms that you prefer. And enjoy the song. This song, Ride High, it uh, was released last year. I hope to do a video for it soon. Um, but it has been released across all major music platforms digitally. Again, I hope that you've enjoyed my first podcast. You can support it, you can listen to it on various platforms, so make sure you guys do that. Um, it will soon be on iTunes, available. Share it with your friends and enjoy the song and I will be back again, same place, next time. Thanks for listening. Take care and have an amazing, amazing rest of your week. Exclusive.